What's going on YouTube? X-Ren here, back in here with yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links metagame breakdown. I don't know what episode this is. I'm sorry that I've missed like weeks on weeks on weeks and shit. But, you know what? Fuck it, we're back. We're back with the metagame breakdown. And yeah, this is after the skill rebalance. I think like a week or so later. Yeah, let's just get right into it. So coming in newly tier 1, we have Black Lesser Soldier. The Soul of Light and Darkness is an insane as fuck skill. Literally lets you play your deck. Literally just plays the deck for you. I'm just gonna be real. It can draw text. It can draw text with the Magus Ascension. By the way, there was a Trickstar engine. There used to be one at like for the first release of it, but after that, like it just fell off. I don't I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, it just fell off. The Magus Engine is way better now simply because you draw, and yeah, the, the current deck runs like a fuck ton of back row such as like like literally like their entire deck is just back row you play like uh let's say i think like six seven, nine monsters and everything else is just back row so like going first draw set three and then you you basically just win they can run play limit threes but yeah so uh yeah that, i don't really have much to say about it it does struggle against stuff like Seal Tombs and Lancia, but and stuff like White Princess because I think like Trickstar can play it. Tenyi still at tier one isn't surprising. They did hit three effects, but it means like jack shit to the deck. The deck has just been running. Um, let me just pull it up. The deck has just been running like Life Point Boost Alpha, Grit maybe or or just other ones. And I think, I, I still think the deck is still good. Um, does the deck deserve to be hit? No, I don't think so. It, it isn't too broken to be hit, really. Like, besides your turn one board, end board being Berserker, most likely Field Spell, and then maybe Draco Berserker pass, like, I don't see it being much of a problem. So, yeah. Yeah, they've been mainly playing Life Point Boost, Tie That Binds, or whatever. Coming in at tier 2, we have Infinitrack. Infinitrack was on the tier list like a month or two ago. It was for like a week, but I feel like it should still be here, to be honest. It, it can abuse the skill Sealed Tombs, which basically is a floodgate. Neither player it can be used if your life points are lower by one care more. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard. Your player can banish cards from the graveyard or special summon from the graveyard, which is literally a 10 e counter and a BLS counter. Um, Rocket still at tier two, not really nothing much to say. Oh yeah, about a track they play Outrigger Extension, which lets your monsters not be targeted. Um, Salad rising to tier two. Wow, the, uh, uh, what one? Lady Debug to 2 limit does to a nigga, I swear. But, um, yeah, I feel like this deck is is really good. Um, you can play text like Dark Hole, which is obviously a Tendy counter. Um, some other stuff you can run, and basically they've been running Update Jammer, too. So they can, um, OTK, so you go, like, Update Jammer into Ningirsu, Sen 1, OTK, basically. Um, some other stuff. Let's see. I tried printing. Blah blah blah. blah. Tier three, we still have D heroes, Gandora, and Trickstar. Um, Destiny heroes. It's still a good deck, but I feel like um, BLS is just a be best, better set three pass. Fuck! I keep on messing up my when I talk. Um, Gandora's still here, and Trickstar's still here. Gandora, I feel, can... It's okay. It, against stuff like Trickstar that can play Lancia, it's just... Eh. Here's, like, the current Trickstar builds. Still running, like, the usual... Still, still you working the usual, um... Uh... Stuff. This one's running debunk. You can run debunk and debunk inside deck to essentially fucking counter uh, Tenyi. So yeah, 
that and Mind Drain is like really good, outstanding against the deck. So yeah. Um, other decks here we have Medolce, Odd Eyes, Abyss Actors, or Sartic and Tombs. Medolce, it it's insane. I'm gonna be real. It's so it is it's a it's truly a deck. It used to be like I think like Medolce was used to be like that oh burn deck, you burn yourself. So then you just play like, use sorcery conduit, draw draw into your one card combo and OTK. But now it's a lot more different, which I really do like. Um, Odd Eyes, while this deck fell off, I still do think it's really good because it can obviously go into Ready Rose, which Ready Rose fucks over BLS a ton. Yeah, it just fucks over BLS a ton. Um, some other stuff, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it fucks over BLS. It can also play Dweller, which I don't think that fucks over BLS and Tenyi. Abyss Actors, this one is really interesting. I've seen the rise of this deck recently, and I'm just like, wait, what? Yeah. Um, basically, they've been playing a Magistus engine, right? To draw. And also, with the Sealed Tombs, you activate Mela Madonna's Pend Effect. You, you get Sealed Tombs, like, turn one. Which is wild. It is wild. Um... Some other stuff, I think it was this one I wanted to see. Yeah, the, it was like Rocket with Rockets, which is really, really cool. I, I was really curious about this list. No side deck, though. But yeah, you run Post Humus Army, so then you can go Super Poly into Drago Necro Nether Soul, which is really good. So yeah, um, Ursartic, Ursartic Synchron is honestly a really good deck. This deck. Recently, one came in second place at the KC Cup. And it, it's just a insane deck. It, the deck, I mean, the skill never got nerfed at all. I don't know how. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, uh, how did it not get nerfed? That's what I'm generally fucking wondering. Um, and the last one we have is Tunes. Tunes is a okay deck. It's mainly like OTK. They don't really run an extra deck. I don't think they can play an extra deck. But yeah, you just set up like a bunch of shit, then you OTK your opponent. Um, I, I do think it's a interesting deck, but in my opinion, I wouldn't go for it. The deck is super free to play though, free to play friendly. Literally just go into the box one time, and like that's it. You just play 3 2 DM and 1 BLS. 2 DM or 2 DMG, or you could just play like four of these and then just run like hella back row. Though you do have to go like level 40 to get this shit. But yeah, you can play a free to play version if you want. But um, yeah, that's it for the metagame breakdown. So at the end of the video, I'll obviously be going over the current tier list. We have tier 1 BLS, Tenyi, tier 2 Infinitrack, Rocket, and Salad, and tier 3 D Hero, Gandora, Trickstar. With the newest set coming very soon with um, Ghost Girl and Altergeist, I'm really interested to see how the meta will develop. Um, Altergeist is a really good deck. It has negates. It can put, put like negates. It's a really good set three pass deck. And um, let me look this up real quick. Oh, guys. But yeah, it has. It can set up some pretty good stuff. Hextia is a spell and trap negate. Some of this is a monster, like, protocols, a monster effect negate. It's really interesting. And maybe we could possibly be getting the Dune support as well. Like, stuff like Adminia, which is a very fucking good rank for the deck, is a snatch steal. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Let me know your thoughts on maybe the predictions for next set. Let me know your thoughts on the current metagame. And, um, yeah, I, I'm really liking how the format is right now. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. And anyways, guys, that's the end of today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. We do Master Duel, Duel Links, and Darn to Duel Rush Duel tournaments weekly. And, um, yeah, my that's the end of today's video. Anyways, guys, my name is x and I'm out. See ya. Peace.